Our poster sessions have always been an integral part of our conferences, and this year, that's no different. So make sure you take the time to check them out. And join us April 9th from 12.30 to 1 o'clock Pacific Time and 3.30 to 4 o'clock Eastern Time to speak to the authors. If you can, check them out beforehand so you know the questions you're going to want to ask virtually through our chat platform. Enjoy the poster sessions. Hey, welcome to Locust Point in Baltimore, Maryland, my neighborhood. And welcome to Southeastern Roastery. This is where I come in the morning to get caffeinated before working hard for ASA. Let's go in and check it out.
I think I previously mentioned about the honey, honey processed coffee and the natural coffee. Yeah. So these two coffees here are washed coffees. Washed. Which okay. means that after they're picked, the skin and the body of the fruit from the coffee plant is completely taken off and you're left with a uh, very clean bean that is then dried without the without the skin or the mucilage. Mucilage on the coffee. Mucilage. <laughs> that seems like something the meat. that you want to take off. Yeah. Right, exactly. Take off the meat of the coffee. <laughs> and, and the coffee bean, or, and the coffee fruit, I'm sorry, looks a lot like a grape. Okay. And so think of the seed or the bean being in the center of this like kind of coffee of, of meat. Got it. Okay. And honey uh, processed coffee and the natural coffees are where some of that meat, some of that body of the fruit and the skin of the fruit are left on. Ah. And then the coffee is dried either in open air or within a something like a clothes dryer and a drying right. machine. Yeah. And this is where the coffee kind of sits and sit for a while and age. And the longer it ages, the more of that meaty kind of flavor and that natural skin flavor yeah. will help to add a differentiation in the flavoring of the bean itself in the coffee. Huh. So you oftentimes will get a, uh, a more uh, kind of sweet or kind of like fermenty a little bit flavor to a coffee than you would with that same bean that's just washed. Huh. So allowing that coffee to kind of age a bit and sit a bit makes it sweet. So new. Kind of cool. <laughs> so, so earlier when we were looking at the savory, the sweet, and the sour coffees, does that have to do with those flavor profiles are not at all. It doesn't, it doesn't. Those are these are all washed beans. Oh, okay. They're okay. all washed. Yeah. That flavor, the differences in these flavor profiles really come from the growing process. Oh, okay. So from the region, from the soil, uh, if there are different plants that are grown within that micro farm or that micro lot, for example, yeah. the bean plant will will pick up some of the flavoring from that as well. God, so very yeah. interesting. Yeah, it is. It's it's very interesting. Altitude also impacts the flavor ah. uh, of the bean, how close it is to the sun, because the uh, kind of the growth process and the reaction, ah. the closer to the sun happens faster than uh, coffee at lower elevation. So you'll get different flavors that way as well, as well as the climate. So is this why the Jamaica Mountain Blue is so expensive? Yes. Is it worth it? Uh, it is <laughs> worth it. If you're if you're a if you're a distinct coffee drinker, it can be worth it. The Kona coffees from Hawaii, though, for example, are more expensive because of the uh, employment costs. Ah. So U.S. wages are higher. Yeah. So it's not that the coffee is any any greater in flavor, but people will get paid more in the U.S. for the growing process than in under less developed countries. Yeah. And that tastes good. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> oh, that tastes amazing. Okay. All right. So now um, let's press this down. All right. And we'll take our cup. Take this cup. And make sure, yeah, you're good you're there. You're opening this. Yep. I'm going to do Yeah. Looking good. <laughs> so these are, these are both kind of medium roasted coffees. Mm, okay. And um, beautiful. Yeah. Oh my goodness. It's not your Folgers, I'll tell you that. <laughs> mm, that is good. It's it's almost nutty. Mm -hmm. Very mild and smooth, but delicious. Excellent. Well, thank you. <laughs> thank you for showing Enjoy. us how to do the perfect French press. <laughs> Enjoy. Cheers.